Bird. Uh, that's my name. Um, I'm German. Um, well, I was, you know, many years ago. Uh, you, you know, you have your certain, your Italian stallions, your honky donkeys, if you will. Uh, they used to call me the sperm and German. Uh, that's back when I was younger, man, of course. Now I'm old, uh, and it ain't fun. I'm from Mifflin County. I don't know if you guys know where Mifflin County is. Yeah. It's the prettier sister of Junietta County. Um, just above Port Royal. Do you know what they call Port Royal in Port Royal? Port Royal with cheese. That's right. You know why? Because we're fucking stupid. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, Mifflin County is a little bit more refined. Um, we know the difference between cousins and sisters. You have si you have the sex with the cousins, and you have you, know, you just date the sisters, and you marry them eventually. Um, we all have bumper stickers up there. If it's good enough for Ken, stick it in. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm, I was raised that way. I'm just saying. Um, you know, Perry County, they have your they have your guys that like to have you know oral sex with horses. Um, we're much more refined in Mifflin County. Uh, true story. Uh, back when I was a kid, high school, we went to a uh, class trip, a field trip, to a farm, which in Mifflin County, that's a real stretch. Um, we're waiting for one guy. He finally shows up, front of his pants covered with cow shit. He was doing a cow in the barn. He gets on the bus and nobody batted an eye. It was like, okay, he's supposed to do that because his name's Lester, so that's what he does. The whole ride home, all he was doing is bitching about the fact that he had to get off the stool to walk up front and kiss the cow while he was having sex with it. It was kind of, you know. I, I've never done this, so, you know, I don't, you know, hey. And uh, your first comic is Mike O'Donnell, by the way. <laughs> But again, I'm 50, and apparently I do like to eat cake. Um, when I was when I was 25, I guess let's play. You guys are almost that age. I never thought I'd see 50 years old. Now I'm 50 years old. I had a heart attack in June, and the doctor gave me a bunch of shit. He goes, you know, if you live like this forever, keep going like this, you're only going to make it to 75. I'm like, 25 more years of this shit? I'm like, so, seriously? It's like. That's a pretty good deal. 75 sounds about right. But apparently that's, you know, they live longer these days. Uh, you may notice I tremble a bit. Uh, I have epilepsy uh, from a car accident when I was younger. It was, it was really good for jerking. You know, I, I really didn't have to do any work. You know, you know, you, you got to take the good with the bad, you know what I mean? <laughs> but back when I was younger, I mean, see, now I'm old, you know, I... I need blue pills, whatever kind of pills they have, I gotta go get them. But back when I was younger, I mean, oh, I would wreck that shit. Gordon Lightfoot writes songs about it. You guys probably know who Gordon Lightfoot is, but you know. Yeah. You can Google him. He's pretty depressing and he writes about shipwrecks and shit. Um, <laughs> wow, okay. I guess the, the newest thing, and I'm, I'm, I am internet savvy, you know, wow, it's a fucking old guy. He knows about internet, so yeah, I, I do. Um, I'm reading about the vaginal rejuvenation. I don't know if you guys have seen it in China, but um, <laughs> they, they all pretty much look the same, whether you're 18 or 98, or, you know, not that I've seen a 98-year-old vagina, but, uh, you know, they're, you know they're all, it's, 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 it's Arby's roast beef, essentially, is what it is. What can you do to smooth those things out? What kind of rejuvenation is going on there, you know what I'm saying? Seriously, I'm, come on, cut me a break. Well, now you got this uh, transvaginal mesh. Wait, you guys get up to that shit. Getting your beard stuck in that ain't no fun. I'm a bear right now. It ain't fun. It's like a cheese grater. <laughs> no, no, no. Straight away from that. If they have, if they have a transvaginal mesh, you don't want it. Um, I turned 50 this year, and my wife said, What do you want for uh, your birthday present? And I said, Well, Antiques Roadshow is in town. They're in Philly, and I said, so I'd kind of like to go. So he goes, what do you have that's worth anything? You don't have an antique. I'm like, I'll handle that when I get there. So I got called up, you know, those gay twins they have on there. I, I, got to, I drew them, and uh, 
He's like, so what do you got? Let's see what you brought today. I'm like, all right. I said, what do you think I can get for this? I'm like, it's 50 years old. I've had it all my life, you know. I've taken good care of it. He's like, well, let's take a look at this. He's like, oh, the patina's pretty nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. It looks like there's a lot of lotion that's been used at some point. You've taken care of it. I'm like, yeah, that's right, that's right. I said, you know, I take care of what I have. I'm like, what do you think I can get for it? It turns out Megan's List and a decent, uh, and decent exposure is what you get for these things. Um, not what I was looking for, obviously, but uh, that's what you get. Um, wow, damn. Every time, this is the second time I've been here, and I come up here, and, and, and the lights flickers. I don't know, storms or some shit going on up here? I don't know. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. That's, that's me. Uh, again, my name is Robert Hackenberg. This is Berman German. Yes. <laughs>